New tonight, we are hearing from the sister of a man who died in the custody of Mount Pleasant Police. News 2's Katie Turner joins us live from the Mount Pleasant Police Department. And Katie, we have learned a lot about that incident from a newly released report. That's right, Brendan, and in that report, we've since learned that those officers involved will not be facing any charges. A closed case, but a family still looking for closure. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about this. Not one day. James Britt, known by his loved ones as Jamie, was a friend, brother, and father. On September 30th, 2019, Britt was being taken into custody for public intoxication. You know, they just can't, you know, suffocate uh, subjects while they're awaiting transportation uh, and then ketamine them when it's convenient. 29 pages detailing what happened that night. Investigators say Britt was uncooperative with police and was held down with his hands behind his back. You never put a subject face down on the ground with their hands behind their back. You, a human can't breathe that way. In an effort to subdue Britt, he was given the drug ketamine and taken to a hospital where he passed away two weeks later. They took him. They took his life. The Charleston County Coroner's Office ruled his death as a homicide. The cause of death being restrained asphyxia and the toxic effects of ketamine. You know, police officers detained subjects for a century without using ketamine, or, and they did it successfully. For more than a year, the state law enforcement division investigated, and now the attorney general's office says the officers involved should not face criminal charges. The town of Mount Pleasant supported the decision, saying in part, our officers acted legally, professionally, and appropriately. He was killed by people that we trust. For Britt's family, a hard pill to swallow. I do forgive them. However, there has got to be accountability for what they did. Britt's family tells me that they hope the Mount Pleasant Police Department will put their officers through more training to prevent a similar situation from happening ever again. For now, live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.